This is a view into the rear compartment where you can see the mechanism that makes the magician operate. And momentarily, I'm going to release the sand again, which has been placed in the rooftop compartment, so that you can see it passing through and how it causes the drum with the uh, projections on it to turn. So I'll go ahead and start it. And as you hear that clicking sound, the magician in the front is raising and lowering the cups that you've previously seen, the fruit and the dice and the balls. And, um, when my father repaired him, he spent a great deal of time uh, tinkering with the cardboard drum and those projections that you see on it. And although the video won't be good enough to show you, uh, there are some very, very small pencil notations on a number of them which indicate that he was, by trial and error, figuring out which projection controlled which combination of things under the cups. Um, I don't honestly know how he figured this out because he's, he was not a clockmaker and uh, he just fiddled with it until he understood how it worked. Um, I presume that when he finished, it probably was the same uh, pattern as the original um, operation of, of the automaton when he was made, but I have no real way to be certain of that. As you see the sand dropping down, um, it's just passing into a, a rectangular opening in the drawer at the in the base of the pavilion, and that um, will fill up eventually. And the process of him raising and lowering the cups will obviously stop, and then you can repeat the cycle if you want to. While I'm really amazed at looking at a, a much more precise time type of automaton that operates with clock parts, for some reason this, made out of cardboard and paper, is almost more fascinating to me simply because of the fact that it is so uh, innovative to, to make something uh, in a sort of a makeshift fashion like this that does something as, as complicated as it does. It's, it's uh, not as elaborate as, by a long shot, as some of the things that much more sophisticated automatons do. But the fact that it was made from such uh, humble materials is just something that really has a great appeal for me. I was a child when my father repaired this, and um, I don't think I ever, until much more recently, fully appreciated uh, his patience in trying to figure this out. But he he uh, he loved this uh, magician, and I I think he probably enjoyed fiddling with it until he was able to make it work again. I think that's the end of the cycle. So. Thank you very much again for watching.